What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down George Kittle and his route running ability. I think he's probably one of the best tight ends, if not the best tight end in the league. And we're going to talk about why he gets so much separation, why he's able to move the way he does it being such a big guy. Guys, if you're a wide receiver or a tight end and you want to improve your football IQ, guys, you want to be able to understand coverages, recognize defenses, please check out that link in the description below to get signed up on my website. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a diamond release here. Okay, so what's a diamond release? A diamond release is where we take, we got to run a slant, right? We're going to take three hard steps to the outside, get in this DB to turn his hips. I swat him by, and then I come back underneath. So let's watch it full speed, and then we'll break it down. So he gives a little hesitation move to the inside to really sell like he's just pushing vertical, right? The thing about Kittle is that he's such a big guy that even off the line of scrimmage, he's already a threat over the top. Because you know quarterbacks, from a quarterback perspective, I can speak to this. Anytime I kick a tight end out wide or I have a big receiver, an outside receiver out there on lined up on a corner, safety, it's always a threat for a jump ball. It's always a threat for me to just throw it above the rim, let my guy go get it, okay? So that's he, off the line, he's already a threat vertical. So he kind of gives this hesitation jab right here. Now, I want you to see how explosive he is right here and how much his head and his shoulders move, okay? We want to make everything look the same, right? Head and shoulders on every single cut that we do to really push like we're going vertical. Now, when he takes off on this first step to the outside, they're not choppy steps. What I see a lot of people do on this diamond release is they'll give a little move like this, then they'll go one, two, three, real choppy, right? And they don't get any separation with this DB because the DB won't turn his hips when we're choppy with it. If we're just choppy with my feet he's just going to get hands and shuffle with me okay so he's got to make sure that i give him something to where he's going to turn his hips and run with me okay so he gives that now you see his first step look at that angle it's at 45 he's running second step he's running now he's getting ready to swat him by now you see what happens with his db because we're running because we're full speed he's opening up those hips that's the entire goal of this that's what i want to accomplish out of this release and that's exactly what we get done here so now when we swat him by here, you see where he's attacking, back of his shoulder. That's a point of control right there. I don't want to be swatting at his hands. I don't want to be swatting at his elbows. I want to be swatting at the back of his shoulder, really swing him by, and I want to be physical, right? But you see how he's still in an explosive position with his pad level. When he comes out one, two, three, he's not bringing his chest up. He's not popping that chin up, being real tall. That's the mistake I see a lot of guys make is they pop everything up and they're slow, right? He stays explosive for these three hard steps, swats him by, and now what's the first thing that comes around? His eyes. And now his hands are running him out of this thing. That's what gets his hips turned on this re or on this release, right? That's a perfect job. Snap those eyes back around, and your hands are going to take your hips there. And you see, after he makes this move, he doesn't slow down. He's still accelerating off this break. Because what I see a lot of guys do is they'll beat this DB off the line, and then they ease up. Then they slow down because they think they got separation. Meanwhile, this guy's coming full speed because he knows he got beat, and then he ends up recovering and making a play. We don't want to give him any room to work, any room to breathe. We want to always accelerate off this break and run. That's a great job by Kittle. Now, after the catch, I want you to see protecting this ball. In the age of seven-on-seven, one-on-ones, everybody catches it and they hold this thing one-handed, right? Big physical guy. Guys are going to be wanting to take shots at him, right? He's a bigger guy. He's an easier target to hit, right? So we got to make sure we protect this ball. Got to protect this ball and be physical and just catch. Let's get upfield. And you're going to see that on the next clip when he catches this thing. It's just we're getting upfield. That's his mindset. Every single time I catch, I'm going to go score. That's a great job working a diamond release by George Kittle. And after this catch, or accelerating off the break as well, then after this catch, bursting upfield and scoring. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So again, a little hesitation. One, two, three. Swat him by. Let's accelerate off this thing and let's get upfield. Get upfield minded. Always thinking. Burst upfield. Always thinking score after the catch. Okay, so now he's going to be running like a corner post. Down from his walk down. He's at a three-point stance. Let's watch it full speed and then we'll break it down. So he's coming off here. Now, when he makes this break to the corner, it gets this DB to turn. Now, why does it get this DB to turn? Why are we able to get in his blind spot? Excuse me. So why are we able to get him in this blind spot? Why are we able to get him to turn? So when he comes out here, you see how where are his eyes going? Where are his eyes going and where are his shoulders going? His hips and his shoulders are fully committed, and that's what's going to make this DB turn out of there. That's what's going to force him to speed turn because we got to be a salesman first. I don't want to not sell the route first. I want to be a salesman first with everything that I got, commit my number, commit my hips, commit my eyes. Now, he doesn't even have to look back to the quarterback here on this one. That's how much he's able to get this guy to turn. Now, main thing I want you to see, too, is even if he's a big guy, when he comes into this break, he kind of slows down, but on that second, he still takes three hard steps. It's here, one, two, three two, 
three, and now he's making this cut, right? No pad level change. He's coming full speed in and out of a double move. What I see a lot of people do on a double move, and there are times where you do want to change the pace up on the route. I'm going to admit that. I'm not going to say that you always want to be 100 miles an hour every single time. I think that's a better way to get separation, but there are times where you got to change the pace, right? Now, a lot of guys, when they run like a corner post, they'll make this break to the corner, then they'll kind of cruise, sudden stick, then they'll kick back up in, into second gear, right? That is another way that you could get separation on this, or the way kills use right now is being full speed all the full speed all the way through really focus on selling the corner getting this db's hips to turn and now you see where he's making this break at he's in this blind spot he's at that weak hip this db is going to be forced to speed turn or open up his hips right and either way if we do what we need to do and we accelerate out quarterback gets the ball out on time we're going to have a catch and we're going to have some separation some room to work when you're a bigger receiver you bigger tight ends if we can get you the ball in open space you're going to be hard to break down but you got to be running full speed you got to be explosive and that's exactly what Kittle is. So you see now when he breaks back up to this thing, snapping that head back around, and what happens? Ball's out on time, making a great catch. That's a great job working this corner post by George Kittle. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming out full speed, gives his eyes and his hips to the corner. Nice and easy cut, right attacking that weak hip in that blind spot. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please leave in the comments any questions you guys have. If you watch this full video, I really appreciate it. Hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time.